The question is, what is this thing that people call work? I know that in regular English language, work just means that stuff that maybe you don't want to do. Right? But work in physics means something specific. It actually means the, the transfer of energy to do something, well, some, something, period. Okay? Not necessarily even useful, but to do something. Transfer of energy, and there's this nice specific definition. Oh, it's supposed to say caused, that is caused by a force. Oh, being applied to an object. as it is displaced. Okay, that, that's actually pretty narrow, but I want to narrow it down even further with an equation. Okay, so that's a pretty narrow definition, but I want to keep it even tighter than that. So in physics, we, def we define it as, well, let, let's talk about proportionalities first. First of all, Work is proportional to force. All I'm saying is that if I apply a force to something and it moves, I'm doing work. Work is proportional, therefore, to also to the displacement of something. We can tie these two proportionalities together into this equation that I was mentioning. Work is equal to the amount of force that you apply to something over the displacement that it achieves. And actually, there's a little bit more that people tack onto it. Times cosine of the angle between those two vectors. And I'll show you how that works in, in just a second, okay? Actually, it's not a, a bad thing to talk about how we, could, talk, uh, how we could, could find the work for a force that's being applied to an object like a box sitting on the ground. And you know from the previous unit, we talked about having boxes sitting on the ground. And maybe you apply a force that's sort of down and at an angle on that object, object. So the free body diagram might look something like this. You know, you're applying a force to it. And this isn't the whole free body diagram. I'm not drawing in the normal force the, or the FG right now. But we've got this applied force going off at an angle. And I could say, all right, so this is my applied force. I know that uh, maybe, maybe this is frictionless. But if it's frictionless, or even if I'm just overcoming friction, my displacement might be something like this, delta D off in some direction over to the right. I could give some numbers to this. I could say, okay, so displacement is, uh, I don't know, 10.0 meters. Let's make the applied force be, I don't know, also something like 100.0 newtons. Is the force applied and the displacement in the same direction? Nope, not really. In fact, could I figure out how much of the force applied is going in the same direction as the displacement? Yeah, probably. We, we called it F applied X previously, right? The applied force in the X direction. So we said, look, we can find the applied force in the X direction. And if this is the angle at which I'm pushing on this thing, let's make the angle be 30 degrees. Nice, nice clean angle, like 30 degrees then I could figure out how much of my applied force is going into pushing this thing a certain displacement. That would be the, the work that my applied force is actually going to contribute towards this, this object. Okay? So I could say, all right, well, force applied in the x direction is equal to F applied. And the x, the, to get the x component of force, I'd multiply that times cosine of theta. And people that are thinking ahead of me already are saying, oh, there's where the cosine of theta comes from. And so when I go to say, oh, the work done by somebody pushing on an angle is equal to work, sorry, work is equal to force applied in the same direction as displacement is really F applied X times delta D times cosine of theta 
Well, the angle between f applied x and displacement is actually zero now. What's the cosine of zero? Oh, actually, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. What's the cosine of zero? No, cosine of zero is one. It is put into your calculator. Cosine of zero is one. Every single time, one. And I can say f applied x, well that's really just f applied times cosine of theta times delta d. And if I rearrange this equation, can you see that if I rearrange this equation, you end up getting the exact same thing as what I said the definition was up here? f applied times cosine of theta times delta d is the same as saying f times delta d times cosine of theta. Really, we're just trying to find out what component of force is acting in the same direction as displacement. That's all that cosine is really there for, to help us figure that bit out, okay? Does that make sense to people? If it doesn't, we can come back to it afterwards, okay? I want to try something here. I want to I try a nice, simple question, very straightforward. <coughs> 